This is the celestial tier. This covers the first through fifth positions here on the summer 2024 seasonal go leaderboard within simple MO. And number one, no surprise, we have factory reset. They were rain factory. They got deleted by a <laughs> great player. And now they've been restored thanks to uh, this the Galad creative staff, I guess. <laughs> and they're back as factory reset with 108 total mil or 108 mil total exp earned number two we have tsl still on their pve train right can you confirm that i think so so tsl at number two with 90 mil total earned we had the force at number three with 62 mil earned we have so friendly two at number four with 58 mil earned and then dead poet society the true pve guild and the strongest pve guild since inception at number five with 57 mil earned and look at that they're right behind still friendly too it's just it's insane to see a pve guild like dead post society duking it out with one of the forced uh or excuse me one of the friendly conglomerates so excellent stuff tansy might see that and be like mm -mm, and then join you know and you know be a little jerk but anyway shout out to dps shout out to everyone in social of course being strong powerhouses uh but yeah just insane look three or the third fourth and fifth positions are are you know they're threatened by each other but first and second it's just like it's there's no cap is that what they say no cap okay moving on to legendary this is six through ten positions we have friendly at number six with 52 mil earned we have wolf blood at seven with 31 mil earned wolf blood was uh, number six at one point and we have prosora at number eight with 31 mil earned and we have murders of the universe at number nine with 26 mil and then shadow guard with 25 mil earned uh let's let's just look or excuse me total i don't know why i'm doing that i'm used to, i'm used to being the earned guy when crazy fight's talking but let's just look at earned real quick we'll go back to special just to see yeah almost earning all the same though look at this <laughs> interesting stuff uh but legendary here we have five mil earned four 6.3 6.6 from prosor dude merge of the universe 3.2 and shadow garden 3.9 yo shadow oh my exams my exams chat feel sorry for me look shut up you're almost earning four mil okay let me zoom in for you for cutie's bad eyes cutie wears glasses can't what he made the scroll bar red by the way it's so hard to see <laughs> dang it yomu you freak okay moving on do, 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 do. going to epic this is the them through 15th position we have asgard who is a probably one of the most famous tier 2 guilds uh headed by jason and then they kind of they had a not a merger but they took in uh the pariah pandemonium x babble uh, members into their into the fold they took some leadership positions officer co-leads things like that and now they're number 11. asgard i want to be clear even before taking in you know whatever name you choose uh asgard was always going to be in a strong position jason is a great guild leader so i've heard he pays me to say that he doesn't pay me to say that uh youtube member uh youtube member gift bomb <coughs> jason anyway so they were already on a good tra trajectory, but now they have some whales. They have some P dedicated PVPers. They're number 11 with 23 mil earned or total. God. And then we have Yi at <laughs> at number 12 with 18 mil uh, total. We have Heaven and Hell at 13. So Heaven and Hell, raise your your torches. What do you guys do over there? <laughs> what does Heaven and Hell do, man? I don't know. I don't know what they do. But uh, yeah, there you go. Glory to heaven, glory to hell. Yeah, that's their saying. That's their motto. It's too. Listen, if you want some advice from a pro gamer, simple most streamer, it's too long of a slogan. It's too long of a catchphrase. You should just say we burn in tonight or something like that. You know, not to gl glory to two different whatever. But anyway, number thirteen. Congrats to them. Newly re. Would you say like reforged? I don't know. But they're back 17 mil total or nothing to sneeze at resolve one of the newer guilds of the season in 20 or uh, in summer 2024 holding on 
beautifully in Epic at 14 with 16 mil total. And then Italia, full of fake Italians. Okay, listen, I watched... I watched Goodfellas. I, I, I went through this thing where I watched um, Tombstone, and then I went... I did a 180 and I watched Goodfellas. So I went from Cowboy Western to uh, Mafia. Uh, Italian, uh, you know, uh, Italian organized crime. So Italia, I, Rumor Street, not a lot of them are Italian. I've asked them. I've asked like five members. That's enough for data pool. Uh, but holding on to the 15th position with 13 mil total. Let's, let's look at the earned though. So earned here, Asgard 2.5. Nothing crazy, uh, to be honest, I guess. I mean, hold on. What's legendary? What's the lowest? Okay, Shadow's looking good. Shadow's doing good. You know what I mean? Uh, Yi, 1.2. Pretty weak uh, for Epic. Heaven and Hell, 2.2. Resolve 2.2 and Italia almost too flat. So not bad. Epic usually uh, is around this, but we've seen Epic be around three mil normally. All right. Well, I should change this first. Okay, let's move on to Elite. All right, we got some numbers finally. There's some things happening. <laughs> Hit the fresco. All right, so first and foremost, we have Wolf moving a whole position to the 16th position. So we're in elite tier, 16 through 20. Wolf takes it with 13.6 total EXP. They overtook Golden Arrows. Not surprised by a lot of people. Golden Arrows has been very stagnant. Uh, Ajid's not, Ajid's been really busy. Uh, his country has a bunch of like volcanoes, uh, but Ajid's been busy. Ace is pretty much a bank, a guild bank. He doesn't really participate in anything beyond that, I believe. I don't know if Tuna still plays. Yeah, Golden Arrows is very... Mm, so, losing a position, not surprising, but still sad to see. ZZK holding on with eight at the 18th position with 12 mil uh, total EXP. Bloodlust moving forward in Elite tier with 11 mil total, overtaking TPC. Uh, don't show Rice Asima. Don't show Rice Asima what happened. How You just did, you did TPC dirty, dude. Like, Rice Asimo, who's the current guild leader of TBC, was all about, you know, overtaking Bloodlust and blah, blah, blah. Now look at him. Unfortunate. <laughs> Super unfortunate. But let's look at Earned. For those of you who don't know, Bloodlust uh, is Silver Wolf's newest guild. Uh, Silver Wolf was a uh, Wolf Blood member, even a leader at one point, a whale at one point. Uh, legacy disappeared and now he's back with a guild to burn himself out again i always, I, I do the whole legacy because i love the guy but uh yeah so <laughs> so here we go wolf earning 3.5 mil someone just rang our doorbell interesting oh no kumo come here it's okay come here no 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 come here he's a sheep of doodle so he's very you know alert he's alert here but wolf earning 3.5 mil we have golden arrows only earning 1.2 we have zck earning two flat we have bloodless earning 3.2 so wolf and bloodless if they continue this trajectory they'll easily be out of lead here i i would say by the end of summer and then tpc earning two flat still not bad for the size and structure that tpc uh is leaning into i mean they have Lu they have lupine lu lu pp lupine tree so you know you just gotta do it uh oh, off. You gotta do what you gotta do. Here, let me let me text Kimchers. Okay, Kimchers is now aware. I hope. I think. <laughs> Alright, moving on. To rare tier. Crumble moment, dude. Dude. You ordered crumble? They keep, they keep ringing the doorbell. Tell them to fucking stop ringing the doorbell. Bro, I'm going, I'm, <laughs> Kumo, it's okay, brother. All right. So we're in rare, we're in rare tier, 21 through 25. And we have newbies, which was Lucas's, you know, OG guild here at 9.3 mil total. We have Sorrow Keep, one of the newer guilds. They basically, they were in tier two. They blazed through. Okay, he's like an old man. Uh, Blaze through tier two, and now they're, you know, about to overtake uh, newbies, which is insane to see. So shout to, huge shout to Sorrow Keep. Three positions forward, 7.7 .7 mil total. Tier two guilds are taking over. And then 23, we have Cult of Eternal Ice with 7.3 mil earned, moving one position forward. 
Shout out to Cold of Eternal Ice, their leader, DM'd me in game. Very, you know, uh, heartwarming message. Very nice words. And they wanted me to know they are aware of the SGL and our content. So shout out to Cold of Eternal Ice, a bunch of great people there. And then they overtook Alpha and Omega along with Sorrow Keep, moving two possession, uh, dropping two positions down with 6.7 mil uh, EXP earned, another tier two guild. But look at this chat. Afterglow, a tier two guild, entered the SGL, got knocked out of the SGL pretty heavily, and now they've crawled back. And now they've got six, or six mil earned and they're holding down the, the 25th position in the SGL. So. Tier two, shout out to all, all of you. Uh, I, I just uh, rare tier is basically all tier two besides newbies. So it's just it's just great to see. It is literally great to see. Yeah, Kumu is super trigger right now. He's just like, how could you let me too? Why do you keep letting him ring the doorbell? We have a doorbell cam. Tell him stop it. Anyway, don't you know there's a pro streamer? I'm just kidding. All right, that's the first through twenty fifth position on the seasonal go leaderboard. Let's go into my favorite part, which is tier two. Let's see who's just below. Let's see who's just below 25, who's duking it out and who might potentially come in to the top 25. Yeah, everyone tell Keeban he's late. Why do I pay that guy? You know what I mean? Oh wait, hold on. I I, I was a little antsy. Let's look at Earn real quick. 1.5 with uh, newbies, they're gonna get overtaken. It's Lucas, rest in peace, Lucas, in Demolition. Sorrow Keep, 2.6 mil earned. Cult of Eternal Ice, 1.9. Alpha and Omega, just under 1 mil. And then Afterglow, 1.3 mil. So excellent stuff here for tier two. And just, I want to clarify things. Because people are like, what? If, if they're not in tier two anymore, are they still a tier two guild? Listen, if you have roots in the tier two system, if you've been there, if you were born there, when you come into the bigger league, you're going to be regarded as tier two. It's just like in, you know, League of Legends, my favorite esport, uh, LCS, which huge news this week, but I digress. There's not a lot of League fans here, the, the esport fans here. Uh, but when a tier two, like a player from Challenger League or the tier two system comes into the LCS, they're regarded as a Challenger player. Like they came from Challenger series. They came from tier two system. They came from Team Liquid Academy, whatever it might be. So we, we took tier two from you know, the LCS structure, because we were, we're huge fans over here, me and Crazy Fi. You're going to be regarded as a tier two guild moving into the top 25. And it's, and it's a pride, it's a badge of honor, if you ask me. The Shadow Garden tier two. Yeah, you were born there, dude. You're born into the night. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Can you see it? No, I have to zoom out. Dang it, cutie, you freak. Okay. What I'll do is I'll zoom in. We'll break it down. Okay, so okay, that was not the that was not the play. <laughs> All right, here we go. So uh, this is twenty six to thirty five. This is simmering just below the twenty fifth position. Murder the crows dropping into tier two once again. Uh, we all heard the story from Koi Void. Uh, rest in peace. Pour your Fresca out for them. Uh, don't do that. I love Fresca. Also, don't do it on your keyboard. I've done it. Not a good call. Uh, but three whole positions down, and they've only earned. 400 uh, K EXP first gen black dragon one mil earn moving up a whole position uh, overtaking step and chill rest in peace cord uh, I don't know I really I think they're dead 175 K EXP earned Helheim which is like heaven and hell's uh, younger brother in my eyes because they have to say they look it's like the same w whatever they're at number 29 with 1.1 mil earned two positions forward that's great for them that's great for Helheim. Gorilla Wizards floating just at 300k EXP. Bear at 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 the 30th position. I did not expect to see Gorilla Wizards ever down here. Uh, they've always been an SGL guild. They've always been in the top 20. Uh, it's just like it blows my mind. They're they're like godlike in Idol MMO, and maybe that's where they're going to be. The Colt. Uh, this is Fred's guild. Gakuto took over, and now Gakuto left once again, and they are dead. Seven thousand. They only earned 7,000 before they jump ship. And then you have House of Bamboozle at 500k. And then uh, Vex's Guild, Volpinia at 257k, moving up a position. And I have to zoom out. 
And then we have Dante's Inferno at 34 with 722k earned, moving up position. And then Blackwater is dead. Sin's in chat, I think, was in chat earlier. Their guild is dead. Uh, two whole positions down. They're going to get bumped out. We're going to see a new guild. We'll, pro we'll probably see a new guild. All right, good night, Kasu. Thank you for stopping by. I like the stream, please. <laughs> but yeah, that's tier two. And that is the SGL. That'll do it for tonight's seasonal guild leaderboard progress report. Thanks to everyone uh, for, you know, shout out to all the guilds. Shout out to everyone who participates in the SGL and is here for the content. And shout out to the VOD squad uh, for watching this at a later date. 